Good morning, guys. Hello. Woo. <laughs> a little rolly. Yeah, it's a little rolly today. So, um, so I don't know if I've uh, even mentioned this yet, um, but we actually were able to secure a Starlink from a buddy boat of ours. I hate these glasses. Um, from a buddy boat of ours that upgraded theirs. So we've had it up on the deck for a couple of days now. It's pretty fantastic. Um, but this is yeah. the wiring. Got wiring. Just, There's yeah. that many thousands of feet of wire and then it goes up and down and through there and hooks back up to the Starlink. So um, not the most efficient set up which is you know temporary at the moment so we're just really trying to decide where to put it um i really want to mount it on the rear of the boat but it's um i don't know if it's a lot more work to run the wiring um from kind of mid it's more of a project aft. we have to have parts fabricated to mount yeah uh, where we need to mount it and uh um We've had another buddy boat. We saw where theirs was mounted, which was forward on our on the uh, door, the granny bars for the uh, door aid vents. Yeah. Which we'll show you in a second. Um, which makes sense. That's the easiest to do, and we don't need to fabricate or drill any holes. That's just time to uh, run the wiring. Yeah. So, and we don't know what it looks like uh, sailing either. Um, I think there's potential for the dish to get damaged if we sail with the dish up. Yeah. So we would likely not sail with the dish up. Um, yeah, which is not a big deal because we can take it down pretty easily. Yeah, um, I don't I don't think that's a great place for it to be um, And I mean, I think it just depends on the conditions really uh, but when we're when we're tacking um, And sometimes when we're furling, I mean, there's a lot of uh, whipping of the lines sometimes and our, yeah. our concern is that it it could whip around, grab that dish. Yeah, or and, smack it. It'll it definitely could damage. Yeah, it. could damage it seriously. Whip it out, or or impede our ability to move the boat in a critical moment. So, yeah. So that's probably not um, going to be able to be there while we're sailing. But for convenience' sakes, right now while we're not sailing, um, I think we're going to go ahead and do that and run this wire so yeah, where i showed you where the wire is there's a conduit that runs all the way i guess back up in here yeah it's just uh yeah yeah it's like a chase for the wire. yeah up in this chase thing so yeah. all of here's, this stuff here's the router here yeah, so there's the router we got the i just need to run the wire all the way back yeah. and then there's and up to the and then up so anyway all of that stuff needs to come out to do that and then ultimately um hold on i'm gonna come back up here to show you. So this is where we're talking about it would be mounted right there on that granny bar. Um, like I said, we saw one of our sister, our sister boat, uh, Carlina, Earl's boat, that's where theirs was mounted. Um, and it definitely was temporary as well because he had all of his wires loose. So I don't think he sails with it there either. Um, but we're gonna go do that today. Um, see if we can get it mounted so AJ can kind of yeah, he's. I, I think that's more it than anything. Um, I really am hesitant to do it because we're leaving in a couple of weeks for probably about two months. And um, well, we would remove the uh, dish anyway, wouldn't we? Yeah, it just that? seems like a lot of work for something we're not really sure it's going to stay. But the wires driving him crazy, and um, I don't think we're going to have the ability to mount it in the rear for some time. So yeah. Might as well do it right um, for this temporary situation, but uh, yeah. I guess it doesn't require any modification to the boat. Yeah, I'm not going to drill any holes. Yeah, when uh, we come, when we um, when we come back, uh, we're going to haul out. Um, we're having some, uh, we're having our water line painted and uh, um, activation sanding done on our uh, copper, copper coat, coat, and then a couple of other um, miscellaneous things. But point is, we we'll have the boat out of the water. Um, We've got some things we want to look at on the prop, and then over here at the where we are, there'll be fabricators and that yeah, kind of stuff. So, so we might, mount, yeah, mount we mount. might be able to talk to somebody about let's look at our setup and see what what would be ideal and what would fabricating amount look like, because there's a big kind of um, triangular space between the uh, engine lift 
um, where we take the engines for the dinghy off and the pole that's currently there for uh, a wind generator, um, which ideally it would go there. Um, it would be a little, there would be a little bit of shading on the solar, but we don't think it would be tremendous. Um, but we're not really 100% sure that down the road we might not end up with the wind generator again. So we don't necessarily want to. I don't want to shorten the pole. We don't want to shorten the pole. So I don't know. There's a lot of things involved. So we'll uh, continue to investigate the best uh, mount. It would be nice if we could permanently mount it so that when and if we wanted to use it offshore, it was readily available to yeah. us. Um, so, and then the back of the boat is the best place to do that. Yeah, because there's then no, there's no, no line, lines. no, yeah, no, um, no worries about the line. So anyway, that's the project for today. So uh, um, as, as any boat project, um, should it should easy. only take us about take us an, an hour, hour and so really only least. involves taking out this little bit of stuff. So that means I'm, three hours. And I'm sure least. we'll find three other critically broken things while we're doing it. So anyway, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So we've uh, cleaned, cleaned all of the stuff out of the cabinet up here. And AJ's removed the panel. Um, for the uh, wire chase so everything's accessible um, and you know again it's chaos yeah like, so it's basically going to come well from up there uh -huh. down here in there and I'm running it all the way forward because that's up there where the TV is that's where the router is going to be okay. that's where to plug it in, so. uh, shouldn't be a hard job but this is time yeah <sighs> boat is a disaster. Um, here's all the stuff that I had to remove. Um, it's a lot of stuff actually that fits in that section. Kind of surprising. But yeah, that looks like it's pretty easy. Yeah, that means some, the boat's going to sink now. <laughs> Jinxed it. This is our... Um, electrical panel uh, and thanks to Jameson his name was gone thanks to Jameson it is way cleaned out and labeled and uh, there's probably still some more that could come out of there but he got a lot of it cleaned up when he uh, did the rewiring for the uh, battery upgrade so that fits nicely yeah to drill I need to wash those walls. A little bit of mildew. A little yeah, bit of mildew build up. The yeah. The, anything where um, anything touches the wall and it can't get airflow behind it, then you have mildew. So uh, it's really kind of difficult to keep a handle on. Okay, so we got the wires uh, through the chase. Fish it through up here so we can mount it onto the uh, door right there. So it's actually going way easier than I expected. it through the door at he said yeah I, I got this end that just kind of threw back there and it landed right on top right under the hole and I turned the wire and it stuck up right through that little slot yeah. and I was able to grab it with my fingers so that's crazy that never happens so that means something something really wrong that really bad's gonna go happen in a minute it's gonna go really wrong yeah.
Okay, project complete. Yeah, we done. Yeah, again, that went um, way, way easier than expected. It makes me nervous for the next thing. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, up and running, all yeah. wires are stuck, yeah. drilling holes, easy peasy. Yeah, that was great. So, again, just not sure that it can live there while we're under sail. But. Yeah, I don't think it'll, uh, definitely not while we're tacking, that's 40 weather. Yeah, well, for a because, light sail or yeah, something, that's one thing. Lines. I mean, do our yeah, because a lot of times the lines will like whip and slap this um, this piece of isinglass right here. So, you know, the fear of it hitting that or grabbing it or, yeah, you know, something's just too much. When we tack. Um, so, right now we're thinking if we have to tack, um, we could roll in the head sail, uh, furl it, mm -hmm. and then instead of just letting the lines go, because that's when it starts getting crazy. Getting crazy. So, but uh, we'll just watch it and see. Yeah, we'll take it down and sail with it in the mind of the mindset of yeah. possibly being there to see what how we need to sail. Ideally, we'd like it back here. Like we really wanted it over there where that little uh, booster is, um, and that still may be what we look at. But we need a slightly different um, kind of adapter to get it up. We can't get it up high enough. Yeah, it's gonna shadow the solar. Too, it will so. shadow shadow the solar, but probably not that much. Or what I was talking about is this. Um, hold on. This kind of empty space, like right here, right in here. If we can find a way to have something fabricated that comes off of that pole, it might could go in that space. Um, or the top of the, uh... Yeah, or it could go up top there for now. But again, AJ was saying, you know, we don't know that down the road we might not end up with a um, another wind generator. I mean, you know, even... Oh, sorry. I don't think we'll need one, but... I don't want to cut that pole yet. Yeah, we're not ready to commit to else. not having it. Um, you know, just the other day, we were, we were trying to sell our other motor, and, you know, there's somebody out there with a brand new one that was willing to trade for the motor. So, you know, brand new wind generator. So there's just no, you know, telling down the road we might end up um, with something. So I don't know. We don't want to cut it off yet. So this will work for now. Um, but really nice to have that uh, accessibility and connection. Super fast internet. That's great. It is super fast. Um, I think way faster than... Well, we've been using people Starlink, but we've been using it from afar. And, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that fast. No. It's we were definitely on the edge of you know, the reception. Yeah. Right. It definitely makes a difference when it's on your boat. Super fast. So now we can do video calls, um, we can Wi-Fi call, hopefully without losing connection. Um, stream everything. We can stream whatever we're watching on live TV. TV again. All the uh, series and shows we used to watch. Yeah, so it's kind of nice. I, I actually, I mean, I, I know that you know there's a there's an upside and a downside, but it is kind of nice to be to have some of the comforts, and that was one for us, we're big television watchers, so to have one of those comforts of our home, on our home, uh, it's nice. Yeah. All right, yay, Starlink, and big shout out to Frank and Annie, uh, really appreciate them, uh, number one, upgrading their system, <laughs> and two, selling us theirs. Selling us their old system, pretty good. Yeah, at a really good price. It would have been very difficult to get here, um, shipping and receiving anything into this country, bringing anything into this country, and into Grenada is not easy at all. So um, that definitely would not have been an option. 
we would have had to have gone back to someplace like St. Martin, Saint Martin to get um, and done that, which, you know, would have involved a, a little bit more work on our part as well. So, so yeah, it's worked out really well for us. So, thanks again, Frank and Annie on Enjoy.